always buy generic drugs when it's available. And this applies to both prescription and over-the-counter medications. Hi, my name is Chi, and I've been a pharmacist for more than 10 years. Today, I'm about to tell you the biggest mistakes when it comes to purchasing medications, overpaying for brand name drugs. As you can see here that FDA approved generic medications are the same as their brand name version in both risks and benefits. Every drug that's available in the US market has two different names, the brand and the generic. Brand name is what the company choose to call their product during the patenting process, while generic name is the name of the actual chemical that's curing your sickness. A drug company that's got the medication approved by the FDA for distribution in the US market had its patent and exclusivity about 20 years plus any extension they might want to apply for. So during this period of time, only the brand name is available on the market. However, when this exclusivity period is over, other drug companies can start making the generic version of the same medication without having to spend millions of dollars on research studies and patenting with the FDA. These are the fees that justify the high cost of the brand name medications from the manufacturer's standpoint. But as consumers, we can stay clear from these costs that are passed down to us and just choose the generic version instead. Check out this whooping 37% price difference between the brand and generic children Claritin. How about 51%? in children Tylenol. Isn't it outrageous that Americans are still paying so much for brand name medications when the generics are available and they would do the exact same thing at fractions of the cost? Well, marketing plays a big role in how consumers spend their money. And in the drug industries, it's no difference. Thanks to marketing, everybody knows what Tylenol is but not a acetaminophen unless you work in the pharmacy. So if you don't know which one to buy, you can always look for this box that says compared to the active ingredients in whatever brand name medications that you are looking for. The same when it comes to prescription drugs. Look how much lower the average copay is for generic versus the brand name. But you may ask, well, I don't have the power over what my doctor writes for me. If he or she writes for the brand name, then I will have to pay for it, right? Wrong. The pharmacy will always automatically fill the prescription with a generic version when applicable, unless your doctor writes brand necessary on the hard copy prescription. And this can happen for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that you have tried a generic medication before and it didn't work for you. So your doctor might think that the brand name would be a better option. However, when this happens, you can always ask the pharmacist if there is any generic alternative that's available and you can ask your doctor to write for that instead. The second reason is that you might be allergic to an inactive ingredient in a generic and your doctor might think that the brand name is a better option. Um, however, when this happens, you can ask the pharmacy to fill it with a different manufacturer and this might solve the issue without breaking your bank um, paying for the brand name medication. The inactive ingredients vary among all manufacturers and they include a filling, preservatives, and dye. So if you know exactly what you're allergic to, you can do a little research and choose the manufacturer that works for you. Well, that's it for today. Follow me if you want any more pharmacy tips and comment if you have any pharmacy-related questions. Thank you and bye.